170-pound weight class. Slight reach advantage for Mike Perry of half an inch. All right, now for the introductions back inside to the well-dressed Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 11 wins, three losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, platinum Mike Perry. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 15 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul, the Irish Dragon Prowler. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard, our referee for this one. Luciana Andrade getting a starter from round one. And rest assured that Felder's coaches would have no problem if he decided to make this more than a one-fight stint up at 170 pounds. Paul Felder finally getting that first appearance of 2018 out of the way against Platinum Mike Perry. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Felder in black, Platinum Mike Perry in white. Already a big cut on the forehead of Paul Felder. That was the first punch that Mike Perry threw. And anytime you get a cut on the top of your head like that, it's really miserable, especially at the beginning of the fight because the blood drains right down into your eyes. It's very annoying. Apparently, it was a headbutt. We're going to get a chance to see that in between rounds. And maybe both guys were cut. Bad headbutt. It, I believe you're correct. I believe Mike Perry's cut as well. Literally the first motion of the fight. Well, the only time Paul Felder's ever been stopped, it was courtesy of a cut from Francisco Trinaldo back in 2016. Be careful of that elbow. A great elbow by Mike Perry. He throws a ferocious left elbow on the break. Oh, and there's a right elbow. He hurt Paul Felder with that. Hard shots to the body by Perry. I mean, you really see the punching power this guy carries. And Felder with an elbow of his own. Not a lot of jabs from either of these gentlemen. They like to just throw pure power when they when each strike. Interesting, as soon as he goes over to Jackson's camp, you see him immediately go to that oblique kick to the knee that they're famous for. Well, one of the things that Perry said too is I never really had a game plan. I was running my own my own camps before, so I got I kind of got away from my fundamentals. So when I got to New Mexico, oh, I got back to my fundamentals. Nice right hand by Felder over the top. Cut doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. Oh, we heard him. Felder can take. Oh. And this is what we're talking about. These guys are going to be winging elbows, slicing each other up. They'll both spin, both with high volume. Yeah, he landed that one, though, with the forearm on the forehead, which oftentimes can break your arm. Yes, the man. way he landed it. <laughs> exactly how I did that. Yeah, I was thinking of you right there. Very nice counter right hand there by Perry. Ooh, good hook. Watch that left hook. Felder's starting to find it. He's getting the timing for it. And look at Perry's right hand. It's down. That left hook is there, and that's one of Felder's best strikes. Nice knee. Ooh, there's that stall. Oh, that was very nice. nice. That hurt the leg. When you eat those shots to the knee like that, it makes you think. Luck on your knee. Throwing with fight ending intentions here early. Three plus minutes have gone by in round one. And you see those knee, those knee uh, strikes straight down like that work when you're standing right there with no in and out movement. And that's the Muay Thai style. It's kind of stationary a little bit, but it's pure power. And that's why that lead leg smash to the knee that Perry Stone is working. That kick has really started to become extremely common in MMA. The Darren Till Wonderboy fight was a perfect example with a high kick by 
by Felder, beautifully executed. No load whatsoever, it's just power fight with no load too. Felder starting to work off of that jab effectively. Stepped in there with that knee. Oh, a nice low calf kick as well, Felder getting loose. Oh. Perry staying patient. It's a little different for him. The last fight he had, I think he charged forward so much that you could see him thinking a lot more in this matchup against Felder, although yes. it might do him some justice to get in the chest of Felder and not care anymore because at distance, Felder's looking sharp. You see how closely matched they are in terms of the total strikes landed and thrown. Perhaps some overthinking for Perry. He talked to us about his hips and his knees, the back leg being a little bit too stiff. Sometimes you get in your own head a little bit. Well, it's going to take him a while. A nice elbow on the break again. Isn't he that's, good with that, Yeah, Jay? he's beautiful with that. And that's, that's how he knocked out Jake Ellenberger. And he's landed two really good ones on Felder so far. He needs to start checking those kicks. Those will add up. Ooh, goodness, that's heavy. Perry goes to the spinning attack there. Final seconds of round one. Good body shot from Perry. Beautiful spin by Felder. Oh, what an exchange. Nice shot. Look at him run his feet. Good defense, though. What a round, two more to go potentially. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor. Yeah, Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. Right, Try their new UFC flavor, Octagon okay, Orange, exclusively available at 7-Eleven. I don't need home runs. I need singles. I need getting on base. Okay, breathe. Okay, I heard you. Drink. Okay, you all right? Yep. Okay, breathe. Let's not get so wild with them. When you go one, one, two, you're picking them apart with your hands. Touch your legs. Don't play single shots with him. He likes that. I need a little number. So he creases on platinum. Eyebrows. Eyebrows crease on platinum, right? All right, here we go. Mike, when you lock up, Mike, when you lock up, you get those elbows going, all right? Don't worry about the takedown where you at. Get them elbows going like we worked. You had some beautiful ones this round. Good stuff. Right. Hey, Mike. Mike, look at me real quick. I mean, this fight starts out for the fans with blood and his pure headbutt right off the bat, like two cars crashing into each other. Then they start slicing each other up with some elbows. And you see a huge right hand land here by Felder and a spinning back fist that you're going to see right now that we see Felder just land with perfect timing. 